Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial part 2 of Advanced Inventory Analysis Report Solution designed by Seto Consulting Services Private Limited. Here in this tutorial part 2 you will get to know that how inventory turnover analysis reports in this solution can help you in deciding your efficiency of generating sales from inventory. Well, this is the list of all the reports that can be generated in this solution along with the tutorial part that explains how to generate this report what type of analysis you can do through these reports and how is it beneficial for your business. Here in tutorial part 2, let us see all these things for inventory turnover analysis reports. Well, for business owners with multiple warehouses and large product catalog, you will plan multiple strategies to decide that how fast do you sell your inventory. Because sometimes the products in your business sell off the shelf very fast and sometimes not. Moreover, some products sell off the shelf very fast and some not. And because of that, analysis on what is moving and what is not becomes necessary. Well, inventory turnover ratio is a solution to this problem because it calculates the total time that has passed from the day the inventory is purchased until it is sold. So now you will be able to decide that how many times the inventory is sold and replaced back again by that same inventory. But Will you calculate such inventory turnover ratio of each and every product in your business manually? It is not possible. Well, inventory turnover analysis reports in this solution will calculate the inventory turnover ratio of each and every product of your business and also let you know the life cycle of product. So now you will be able to decide that how efficient are your forecasting strategies, how well you manage inventories, how is the performance of your sales and marketing team? You can analyze on their performances also and much more. Thus, implement this solution to increase sales and achieve optimum profit margin. So now let me switch to Odoo and show you how to generate this report in this solution and what type of analysis to do through this report. And also I explain that how is it beneficial for your business in achieving optimum profit margin. So here I am on dashboard of Odoo and switching to this inventory module of Odoo to derive this inventory turnover analysis report. Well, when this solution that is advanced inventory reports is installed in your system, all the reports can be derived from this reporting menu of this inventory module of Odoo. So to derive report of turnover analysis, Switch to this reporting menu and in that to this inventory turnover analysis report. A wizard opens where you need to fill the details that are asked. Here I need to enter the start date and end date as said that the past sales order data is considered to calculate this turnover analysis report. So as an example, let me select start date of this year that is 1st of Jan 2022 to 30th of September 2022. So this says that to calculate the turnover analysis that is that which product when and with what quantity was sold the sales order data of this duration between start date and end date will be considered. Next you need to select products, products categories, warehouses and companies for which you want to derive or know this turnover analysis. If none of the product categories, warehouse and companies is selected then this inventory turnover analysis report will be generated for all products of all categories, warehouses and companies. To view this report in form of data, click on view data button in form of graph, then click on this graph button. If you want to download this report in form of Excel sheet, then click on this Excel report. Here, let me derive this report in form of data. So now here appears the list of all products for each category, warehouse and company. Let us now have a quick analysis over or quick review over what type of analysis you can do through this report. See this is the opening stock at the beginning of the start date, the closing stock, the average stock value is calculated based on opening stock and closing stock. This is the sales data. Du during the duration that I had selected for the start date and end date and this sales data is derived from sales order 
of that duration. And from this average stroke value and sales data, the turnover ratio is calculated. Let us recall that turnover ratio defines that for how many times you have sold the product and replaced your inventory. That means for this says that higher the turnover ratio, more number of times this product is sold and again replaced back in your warehouses. So let me arrange this report in the descending order of this turnover ratio. So now you could come to know that the highest turnover ratio that is 16.86 is for this modular switchboard in my business for this warehouse and this company. The opening stock was 17, closing stock is 4 and the sales is 177. So this says that by knowing the turnover ratio of this product, this type of analysis will help me to know that I should invest more and more on this product as compared to other products because higher the turnover ratio as compared to these other products says that this product is sold more number of times and replaced again back in my uh, warehouse in form of inventory. So thus inventory turnover analysis report helps you in direct or indirect way to know the demand of product and also helps you to avoid risk of holding the inventory because now you will be very easily able to analyze that for this products all these products whose turnover ratio is less as compared to all these products that is showers dvd drive flexible modular switch that as the turnover ratio is less means these products are sold less and replaced in less number of time in your warehouses as compared to this products so now you should invest less in this products whose turnover ratio is less if if it is possible for you to decide or better purchasing decision of on which products to invest more and on which to less then this can help you to increase profit margin and avoid the cash hold on time by invent investing on right products of right warehouse with right quantity thus you can also avoid overstock situations because see if you are coming to getting to know that the turnover ratio for this products is less then now if these products are more in this warehouse and this company then you should plan strategies to get rid of these products as early as possible by selling these products and thus get back your cash of the investment through the investments that you have done which is unnecessary holding your cash you can also protect against the waste items by deciding that the turnover ratio is if the turnover ratio is less for this product but its expiring date is very near then now you can very easily track the products whose expiry date is near and turnover ratio is less that means these products are less sold from your business so if you haven't planned any strategy to sell these products in the upcoming days then the this products expiry date will come very near the products will expire and there will be a lot of wastage of the products and in indirectly you would be facing loss in your profit so if the expiry date is very near of the products whose turnover ratio is less then you can very easily track such products and focus more now on selling these items whose expiry date is near and turnover ratio is less to get back cash again by selling the products and reducing the investments thus isn't it great that this inventory turnover ratio analysis helps you in maintaining pricing stability because when you are purchasing this higher turnover ratio products again and again that means you can you can plan or you can from your vendors you can get very much advantage of better pricing decisions then avoid overstock situations better purchasing decisions you can also get the advantage of buying power as you are purchasing these products again and again from vendor 
so you can do better deals with them about the pricing you can increase the credit limits and much more thus improve sales by focusing more on important products getting rid of this less important products as early as possible getting rid of the items whose expiry date is very near and the turnover ratio is also less so that helping you to reduce the waste of the items and thus at end increase profit margin in your business so thank you for listening till now and for any queries you can contact us through details mentioned in the description below